welcome to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do this card. This is the third one. This is my third attempt to do this. I made it from uh, one similar to this to, uh, for my little sister on her birthday. And I liked how it came out, so I decided to do a video of it. Well, the last one I did. I forgot to turn the mic on. I did a force over. Did not like how the force over came out. So here we go again. So I'm going to stick this up here where I can see how i done it. And uh, it won't be identical. I promise you because I just don't. I, I cannot do that. But all I used was a 8.5 by 11 piece of white cardstock for the whole thing. I'm going to cut that, that into a five and a half. And I am using We Are Memory Keepers uh, paper trim. And I know a lot of people that don't want this trim. And I get white. I really do get white. And then I cut it at 8 inches because I want it 4 inches when you fold it. And then I'm just going to scramble up. Now I did cut one that is 8.5 by 5. I shouldn't do that. And I am using Create Memories Border Trimmer. And this one is just going to give us a, the board, like a funky shape. we did that and I'm putting this up and I'm bringing back out my regular trim because I forgot to cut this down to five inches no big deal okay now with all that said we are going to fold our corn and I'm not gonna say this is in the middle by any means because I know how I, I do stuff. <sighs> and then I'm going to just lay both of these down and try this. So I was doing two cuts. And I'm using the Creative Memories cutting system, the circle cutting system. I'm using the red cuddle and you can do this if you've just got a circle I mean you don't have to have all these tools by any means you can use scissors and I can do one if y'all want me to with the scissors well did not want to. that's okay tossing those aside. Now I'm taking the other piece of the white cardstock and I'm using the next size up and I'm using the blue one on this one. And I bought these off of a Facebook market a couple weeks ago and I, I have really enjoyed using them. I didn't know if I would like this system or not but I do I'm putting that out of my way because the rest of it's going to get messy and I don't want my mat, mat messed up okay I'm going to get those out of my way there's the corn here's that 
Okay, on this, to make it colorful, I am using alcohol morphine. I'm using 68 and 178. And I am using the chisel end on this. And I'm just going to go through. This is darker than what I used earlier. I just try and change it up a little. Because I just, that's who I am. And I'm using the Art uh, alcohol markers. You can use um, Spectrum Normals, Copic, uh, just a magic, uh, a permanent marker, uh, Sharpie, bit, bit, and you can do this any color you want to. This is just the color I've, I've chose. And this is why I like, I mean, I use so much alcohol markers, you can use ink pads on this. I mean, use what you've got. Um, I just like to, I like to design my own paper for a lot of reasons, because I can get it to all matching if I do. And um, I, I just... I don't know, I just like, to, I, I, I go through more white cardstock than I go through any, any cardstock at all. And now I'm, and this is going to be lighter, so it's going to give it like a, a variation. And it ain't like it's that big of a deal because I'm, we're going to put alcohol on it once I get done with it. And Jesse says hi y'all. Jesse James is in my lap. And yes, it does take a little while to do this. But I like how the outcome of it. And I just keep a bottle of alcohol in a spray bottle. And that's what I'm using. It's just regular old rubbing alcohol. For this. And I'm just going to spritz it and I'm holding it probably 10, about a foot back. <coughs> and what, and you can see the little, the dots or the, like the watermarks. And uh, I'm just going to spread that out a little. Now we are going to work on the back or the back the background of our corn and I am using the coffee thanks uh, latte and they hard to wreck it so y'all bear with them and then I got this uh, stamp set off of uh, wish 
last year, year before last. It's been a few, it's been a while. But I do like it. It's just I can't think of things to use it for. Does that make sense? Does anybody else have issues like that? Okay, I am using Stampin' Up! Chocolate Chip ink for this. And this is the be the two bean coffee bean I'm using. And I'm just going to just, and this is why I like working on paper because I just make, I can make a mess. Easy peasy clean up. Um, and yeah we'll have you know those mistakes. It's hand stamped. And you can put as many beans as you want, or as less as beans as you want. On this, I'm making a mess. I'm gonna grab a baby wipe. We are not done with our beans yet. But we've got to let our, that one, the corner dry. Okay, we're going to take our little circle and use the coffee cup on it. I can find my stamping block and I'm using stays on ink black jet black for this because I'm using alcohol markers on it if I don't it will smear and then I won't be happy now I'm just going to stamp and this is going to go off of my song point and I, I get that but it's pretty fine I'm just going to clean my stamp while I'm got it out. And now I'm putting that out of my way. I'm putting a lot of stuff out of my way. I'm going to use 69. And I'm going in to color my cup. Or well, 68, sorry. Now for the um, decorate edges, you can use your deck. Uh, if you got the scissors, you use those. I have the decro scissors, and I use those. I, I've used those for many, many years. I started um, scrapbooking and card making back in two. 2003, I guess. Now, I've been crafting my whole life. I mean, I l I've always sewed or... Um, now, I'm going to use uh, number 7. And it's like a pink for the heart. BG3 for the steam. If you mess up, it's no big deal. It's just paper, ink, stamp. And then I am going in with a number 101 for the coffee. Hey. 
fish. I don't know what you're looking at. And then now I'm using my colorless blender and I'm just going to go in where I can kind of make a shadows and just kind of make it a little bit lighter but not a whole lot lighter. Hush, there ain't nobody out there. And you can use a lot of brown. I mean, I, this is just what I used. Uh, and you can definitely use a lot of gray. I mean, use what you want. I mean, it's wrong. Okay, now. This is dry for the most part. I'm going back in with my chocolate chip. And my coffee beans. And I'm just going to put my coffee beans on this one. On this just kind of like I did the other one. And I'm not having no good luck, but. Involved. I am going to take just the extra sheet that was off of the circle and do my strip of coffee beans that came with this step set. Hush! Ain't nobody out there. And I'm using the coffee, um, chocolate chip ink still. Now I'm taking a set from May May made it, and you can too. Says it's a birthday wish. <clears throat> and it'll change your sounds. I mean, that's the fun of it. Don't be afraid not to use a different set when you making a card or what I mean if you have to use two or three different sets to make it make a card that like you want do it have fun enjoy it okay now I'm going to take my little creative memories um, paper trimmer and uh, no, I did not pay for this full price, y'all. Uh, my husband found it at a yard sale and bought it. He he buys a lot of my art supplies or my crafting supplies because if he finds it at a yard sale, I do not yard sale. <laughs> How I'll do that one, huh? My husband loves yard sales. I hate them. So. He goes, and I mean, I'll even take him to them. I mean, I have no issue of taking them to him to them, but I just don't usually get out and shop. Okay, now I'm taking my pink, my number seven, and I am going to just trace the sides of these. Two, 
Tootsie. Hush. Toot. Tootsie Ann. Tootsie. There ain't nobody outside. There ain't no sense in it. Tootsie. She hears the, I think she hears my husband inside the house. I'm using art glitter glue and I'm going to put this on before I do anything. And I'm just going to lightly put the art glitter glue on here. And then I'm going to line this up and I'm just going to put the art glitter glue. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of glue just around the circle of that, just like so, and kind of just put that at a angle, and I cut this off at, at an angle, and I'm going to stick the hot um, hot glitter glue on it. I mean, we use one sheet of cardstock, and we've got scraps. I mean, no big deal. We got scraps left over. And I am going to put my logo on the back of it. That says um, Angie's Creative Studios. And that's all it is, y'all. I mean, how easy peasy is that? I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below. And I'll catch y'all next time. Have a blessed day. Bye.